day, ladies and gentlemen. I am Sir Robert Ledbot. You may know me from the hundred dollar bill. But I have done many other things that were important to Canada. Let's talk about my life. I was born on June 25th, 1854, at my farm in the village of Grand Pre, Nova Scotia. There, I attended a literature school where I learned Greek, Latin, and Hebrew. Because of my exemplary skills as a student, I was asked to teach at the school. Although I was not very good at mathematics, eventually I became bored of my life as a teacher, and I wanted to do something better. So, I studied law and earned a job as a lawyer into the Nova Scotia Law Bar. However, after four years in court, a familiar face enticed me to do something even bigger. Charles Tupper, son of the former Prime Minister Charles Tupper, had worked with me during my time at the bar. We became close friends, and so he wanted me, of all people, to join the famed Conservative Party. I, of course, I thought the idea was ridiculous, me being a politician. But eventually I became bored with law, and I was accepted into Parliament in 1896. However, misfortune soon fell on me. Not only did we lose five consecutive elections. Not only was the support for the party extinct, not only was the party divided in serious matters, but Tupper, Tupper, had stepped down and he wanted me, of all people, to lead the party. Reluctantly, I became leader and it was up to me to regain the power of the glory of the party. Over a decade of time, I rebuilt the party by reforming the party, reuniting the party, and I also improved regulations on railways, stricter laws on corruption, and refining immigration policies. I supported free mail, as well as promoting the use of utility. You could say I was the first progressive conservative. Finally, we defeated the liberals in the election of 1911, when I became the first conservative prime minister of Canada in 15 years. After just three years in power, after fixing up my party, after reforming parliament, after regulating the railways, and after strengthening relations with Britain, I put on my Brody helmet and declared war on Germany in 1914. During the Great War, I made two important requisitions. I introduced the conscription. Say what you want. I say it gave Canada 50,000 soldiers. And to fund the military, I set the infamous income tax in place. After the war, however, I never removed the tax. Perhaps the most critical thing that I ever did to Canada's history was to clear autonomy 
to all of Canada. Our boys fought hard during the war, and that earned us respect from many, many people. However, many still refused to see Canada as an independent nation, and that we were still part of the British Empire. So, I wrote a document called Resolution X, which stated all dominions should be self-governing a nation and should be treated equally to Britain. The British Prime Minister saw my struggle for independence, and so the Commonwealth was born. The Dominion of Canada is now the nation Canada. I retired in 1920, and now I do monologues for children. It was nice talking to you all. Now, if you excuse me, I will be spending your income. Look good on these bills.